Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing a reading on today for the week of March 8th through March 15th. This reading will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. But if you have, um, for cross watchers or others that may have Capricorn and their moon, Venus, or rising, this reading may be for you. Again, this reading is for the sign of Capricorn for the week of March 8th through March 15th. Okay, that came right out. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so your present energy is the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's in it? Oh. Okay. What's influencing this energy? What's influencing this energy? Cards are sticking together. Let me stick it in my shuffle. Well, um, I guess that's called the fan shuffle. I don't know. But what is influencing this energy? Spirit. Okay, we have three cards that came out. We have the Seven of Cups, the Lovers, and the Seven of Swords. Oh. And the whole deck just fell on the floor. Okay. I'm going to take all three of those cups. And I know that with the Celtic cross spread, you can do... Um, additional an additional fan um, spread within this spread. It's like four cards off to the side, but um, I'm glad to do it this way. So this is the way that I would do it. I had to um, pick those cards up. So I'm just going to Try to reshuffle because like the whole deck fell on the floor. Okay, so what is the past energy for the sign of Capricorn? What is the past energy for the sign of Capricorn? What is the past energy? For the sign of Capricorn. Okay, Capricorns, talk to me. What is the past energy for the sign of Capricorn? Past energy. Okay. Okay, we have the three of swords that popped out. Oh. That's air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is the, the immediate past energy? What is the immediate past energy? For the sign of Capricorn. What is the immediate past energy? The sign of Capricorn. Okay. Oh, one popped out. 
the Three of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the crowning thoughts of the Capricorns? What is the crowning thoughts for the sign of Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. Judgment. What is the future energy for the sign of Capricorn? What is the future energy? Thank you. We have the Nine of Swords, Air Energy. What are you fearing? What is Capricorn fearing for the week of March 8th through March 15th? What are your fears? My nose is itching and running again. What are your fears? Spirit, one card for Capricorn's fears for the week of March 8th to March 15th. Thank you. We have the Emperor Aries energy. Uh, let me move these cards up some. Because I don't know if they are all visible. So I'm just going to move them up some. Right. Okay. Okay, this is the Emperor card right there. It looks a little bit better. I may have to um, bring the camera a little closer or something, but. Okay, how do others see Cam Capricorn? Could be done with a cancer because that came out, but how, do, how does others see the sign of Capricorn for the week of March? Thank you. The chariot. And maybe that's why cancer came out my mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Or you could be done with a cancer, but your hopes are. What are your hopes for the week of March 8th through the 15th? What are your hopes? The Nine of Cups. And what is the outcome? Cancer, you could be feeling tired. <clears throat> Your outcome is the Five of Wands. And I said you could be I say you could be feeling tired because um, the cards were coming out really, really slow. You have at the bottom of the deck, the hangman. So we are going to start your reading. Capricorn for your current or present energy, you have the queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign, <clears throat> but the Queen of Wands represent um, a person that is busy, want to go, um, always active, happy, warm, cheerful. What's influencing this energy is and the three cups came out. The seven of cups. So, you may be feeling overwhelmed with all the activities that's going on because the seven cups here for you 
seven things here for you to choose from. Um, this could be related to love with the lovers that came out with it. Or you could have a decision in love. And it could be... Leaving you to feel like the situation is um, not going as planned. And it may be because you have too many obstacles or too many people to choose from. So you could have too too much work going on or too many people to choose from and you have to make a decision on which way you want to go because it's causing you to feel or it caused you to feel the three of uh, swords so you could have felt like um It could, have, it could have caused you to have arguments in the past. It could have made you feel like you wanted to separate from something because it was overwhelming. But with the immediate past energy, which is the... Another three, which is the three of wands. You could be um, feeling like through all this work and maybe a choice that you had to make, you could be now waiting for your ships to come in with the three of wands. Your, your overall energy is judgment. So you could be maybe dealing with a Scorpio because Scorpio Judgment represents Scorpio energy. And <clears throat> you could be waiting on some type of growth to occur or a change to occur. To occur. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> some type of change to occur. But I'm looking at this picture I'm sorry, this card said this picture. And in the card, if you look closely, there are multiple people. Floating. So, again, I'm looking at it as you still have multiple, um, you still have to make a decision. In a situation. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven images of these naked people floating around. So there's a decision that needs to be made. And with also what I noticed in this card is the, um, the, this helmet or the wings on the side of the head. So this, could represent that God is going to step in and make a judgment call.
pertaining to this choice. So this could be something, and this is a major arcana. So this is um, something that God is going to do. Or the angels, or the universe. Um, your future energy after this judgment call takes place is going to be the nine of swords. So it's going to leave you feeling like um, some type of anxiety and despair is going to have you up all night and guarded because this window is guarded by swords and she has her arms crossed. Oh, she has her arms folded across her chest. So you're going to be guarded regarding this, um, or you're going to be guarded after this judgment call is made. What you fear is the emperor. So you fear this authority figure. You fear this leader. So this um, decision that takes place, it looks like there is going to be some type of separation. And I say that because others see you as the chariot, or you could be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart, but the chariot represents someone moving on, moving forward. So you could be moving on from a situation that left you feeling like you were um, guarded and closed off, left you feeling um, disappointed, <clears throat> left you feeling alone with your thoughts and left you sitting up all night thinking about it. You're hoping that your wishes are fulfilled, though, with the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> but your outcome is the Five of Wands. So your outcome is conflict. <clears throat> conflict. Maybe arguments. Uh, I'm going to get a clarifier for the uh, Five of Wands spirit. Why is the Five of Wands there for <coughs> the sign of Capricorn? Okay. The sun. So you could be arguing with someone about your happiness or... You could be arguing with someone about your happiness. Maybe you're not getting what you want in the situation. And this argument or this, or this argument could lead to happiness. I'm going to pull um, a love oracle card for you, Capricorn. Oracle card for the sign of Capricorn. Spirit, 
Give me a love oracle card for the sign of Capricorn for the week of March 8th through March 15th. One card spirit for the sign of Capricorn. <laughs> One love oracle card for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you. We have healthy cho choices. <laughs> so, again... You have to, there is some type of decision that, that is going to take place. Either you are going to make this decision, Capricorn, or the universe is going to make this decision for you. But if the love oracle card says healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. So a decision is going to be made. Someone is going to be moving forward. There will be obstacles maybe arguments that get in the way while you are waiting for your ships to come in. But the outcome, after you go through these obstacles, these arguments and these fights, the outcome will be the sign. Because you would have made the right decision you will have made the a healthy choice which will lead to your happiness i don't know if you can see that but so capricorn that is your reading for the week of march 8th through march 15th i hope this reading resonates with you um I'm sending love, light, happiness, and peace to you. Oh, if this reading did resonate with you, um, hit the, the subscribe button and the notification bell so you could be notified when um, your next reading is done I will talk to you next week enjoy your week goodbye